babes welcome and welcome back it's your girl midnight moon and today we're going to be getting into our august boxy charm base box if you'd like to see what we got in this month's variation as well as a makeup tutorial using some of the products in this box then just make sure you keep on watching if you haven't joined my beauty youtube family yet then please do so now and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos comment and let me know if you guys have tried any of the products mentioned in this box and show your support give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends without further ado let's get into it don't give us that paparazzi baby you know they always trying to get me a million dollars at the nice seat. disclaimers this video is sponsored not paid products were gifted on behalf of boxycharm themselves i am part of their pr list now so if you guys want to see more boxycharm unboxings and makeup tutorials then make sure you join the family if you guys are interested in a boxycharm subscription no matter what the subscription base premium or luxe you can use my referral link down in the description box below. Using that link as an affiliate, I will earn a small percentage with no additional cost to you. This helps me to support my channels and create more makeup tutorials, buy more makeup and more skincare and more beauty products for you guys. Timestamps as well as any products mentioned in today's video will be linked down in the description box below. And as always, reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because we're all unique in our own way. We all have different skin types and different beauty concerns. And even if we have the same concerns or same skin types, what products may work for me still may not work for you. So always keep that in mind. So now let's get into our BoxyCharm base box. The base box is $27.99 with taxes and any fees. It is usually around $30 a month. You get five full-size products curated to your profile. So whatever you put in your quiz when first signing up with BoxyCharm, that is what they base your products on. You have one choice a month to pick and then BoxyCharm chooses the rest for you. This month's BoxyCharm theme is... Ta -da -da. Dusk till dawn. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. It's so fiery and smoky and sexy and it's everything and more. And of course we got our pamphlet. It tells you a little bit about the products you got as well as what each one of them do and what they are and the pricing and Instagram accounts if you guys are interested in following them. So the first product we have is actually a very exciting one because I've been dying to try her line this is the queen studio bow down transparent brow gel now of course she has tons of other makeup products but i love a good brow gel as you guys know i am a brow goddess i love doing some brows i love faking them and all that good stuff so i can't wait and like i said i've been dying to try her line i've seen her line all over instagram so again this is the queen studio bow down brow glue it retails for 16 dollars, and it's actually a new launch from queen studio command your brows this easy to use non-sticky flake resistant super long lasting transparent formula stays in place for 16 hours and has a natural finish that works on any brow color armed with a baby spoolie applicator sweep and shape your eyebrows to perfection so let's go ahead and try this i will be using a pomade i'm not just gonna uh use this on my brows and not use anything because uh, i usually have my brows done this is what the packaging looks like up close black and gold and it has like i believe it's these little dragons on it if i'm correct it looks like dragons here is your applicator, very small. Now I can tell you guys off bat, this does not feel very heavy or thick. Um, I actually don't mind a kind of thick brow gel. Um, I've worked with thick brow gels before and for me, I really like them. This one seems really lightweight. And there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and use the back of the spoolie brush wand to flatten it out a little bit. So now it is dry. This is how we're looking. 
I feel like it did do some holding down, but I probably would have to try this again and use it before I do my foundation to really test it out and see if it really gives a good hold. Um, as of right now, like I said, it does feel like it's holding it, but it could be a little bit better compared to the ones that I've tried beforehand. Again, I am a little more used to the stickier, kind of thicker brow gels. So something like this is good if you're looking for something very lightweight. I feel like this side is kind of sticking down more than this side. Maybe I added more here. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes on with the pomade and then I'll really let you guys know my thoughts. So I'm gonna go do my pomade off camera and we're gonna get back and talk about this a little All right, bit. guys, so we finished our brows and I lied. This stuff does really hold down. For how light it is, it doesn't feel like it holds anything, but once you really start to brush through with your whatever your brow product is, you can really feel and see that it's holding all those hairs in place. So I definitely really like this stuff. I will be using it more. I mean, like, let me just get close up. Like, my brows did not move at all while I was doing them. They look so good. Definitely recommend if you're looking for a lightweight brow gel. Um, it did take off a slight, slight bit of my foundation right at the top, but I was able to fix that really easy. Um, but again, usually I do this before I put on any foundation. So if you're like me, then you might want to do that first. Now the next product we're going to get into is an eyeshadow palette. And I'm so surprised that I actually have not ever tried this brand because it's all over Instagram. It's all over the place. I pretty much know almost every person who does makeup has a palette by this girl and I'm just one that that doesn't but uh now I do this is the Natasha Denoa Cupid 5 eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like it is gorgeous very neutral eyeshadow palette but it is like very Valentine's Day-ish packaging feels pretty sturdy too I love this casing that it's in and now it doesn't actually have like one of those closed casings that snap. It literally just like looks like a glass frame around the palette, which is so cute. Again, here are your shades up close and personal. This is again, the Natasha Denoa Cupid Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $48, which sounds kind of hefty but we will try it out and see because this does have a lot of neutral tones, which you probably can find with more affordable palettes, but I know she's big and she has a huge brand, so people gotta love her for a reason, right? It says, with three velvety mattes and two dazzling metallics, the versatile five pan Cupid palette is all you need to create a range of romantic looks from flirty to fierce, featuring rich coppery browns, bright champagne pinks, and luscious burgundy corals. All five shades are velvety, hydrating, and effortless to layer. So that sounds amazing. So, I mean, let's go ahead and try. This is Oxide. Then we have Nude Vino. Then we have Monroe. Then we have Shell. And then we have Clove. Let's get into this eye look. So the first shade we're gonna go into is Nude Vino, which is this one right here. We're gonna use that as our transition just along the crease to darken it. Then we're gonna go into a lighter shade like Shell most likely and use that to blend out the rest of the shadow on the top. It does seem pretty pigmented, so let's see. I'm gonna use a base for base to brighten up the eye look, make the pigments look more pigmented. We're gonna use the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845. That's gonna be my base. I'm gonna do that off camera. and. Then Now we're gonna go into that shade Shell, which is this one right here. And we're gonna use the same brush you just used to blend this brown out and make everything just a little more blended. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and get into the next shade. Using the same brush again, 
we're gonna go into this first shade right here which is clove we're gonna use that right where we used the darker brown on the outside edge but we're gonna keep it right in that section up to maybe the mid center right here I actually am going to take that red shade. We're going to use that all over the lid. Now I'm going to go back into that brown shade, this one right here, which is Nude Vino. And we're just going to use that to darken the outer corner right here and bring it into this crease to blend that red out. So now for the last shade, I'm going to take this middle one right here, which is Monroe. This is one of the two metallic shades, and I'm going to use that on the inner corner of my eye to give that pop of color. I am going to go ahead and cut right here with some concealer, blend it out so we have that sharp edge. I'm gonna add some white eyeliner for the waterline so we can make the look pop even more since it's more like smoky. I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lashes off camera and then we will be right back and getting into the next product. All right guys, so we're back and ready to get into the next few products. But first I do just wanna mention what else I used. For the waterline, I used the Ruby Kisses Auto Eyeliner in white. For lashes and lash glue, I used the INV Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive as well as the INV 3D Collection. This is the Natural 3D Collection in 54. For eyeliner, I used the Serafine Botanicals Luna Liner. And for mascara, I used the Item Beauty Lash Snack Mascara. I set my face with the El Masca Hydra Setting Spray and to make this cute little heart right here which we, of course we had to do afterwards because this is water liner and this will uh move if you put setting spray or any type of other water on top of it we used the dollar lash club aqua liner pastel pink uv cake liner in shade rose if you guys are interested i am an affiliate with dollar lash club so you can check out my link below or you can use my code midnight moon at checkout to get a discount off your order now getting into the next product the next product we're pulling out the box is this gorgeous baby right here and i was super excited to use it because i did swatch this already but it is absolutely stunning and you guys need to see it this is the aesthetica starlight highlighter this is how it looks and yes, the packaging is like holographic. You see all those like beautiful rainbow colors. Yes. So again, this is the Starlight Highlighter by Aesthetica. It retails for $25 and it says create a multi-dimensional radiant glow. This velvety soft lightweight illuminating formula delivers stunning buildable highlight that can be worn day or night. Achieve a picture perfect luminous finish that complements all skin tones so guys when i tell you this stuff is gorgeous if you haven't gotten your hands on it you need one of these i think for the price point and how like pigmented it is this is gonna last you a very long time and i would definitely tell you guys to go get one of these i mean look at that gorgeous gorgeous color if you move it to one side it looks more like a gold but move it to the other and it looks more like a very beautiful chrome pink like it's just it's gorgeous and of course it has our compact little mirror, which we always die for, we love those. So now let's go ahead and try it on. Oh my gosh, look at that guys. Do you see that glow already? Now, if you don't like very shiny or very pigmented highlighters, I would not recommend this for you. But me personally, I love stuff like this love 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 i've never had a highlighter this pigmented let me get close for you guys so you can see the color and i don't know if the camera is doing it justice but the way i see it through my mirror it is gorgeous and it's giving that like gold chrome pink vibe right now which i am loving it's going with this look so beautifully as it should
Just look how pretty that is. I think this is like the most perfect pink highlighter like it's it's just it's so pretty i can't so getting into the fourth product in the box this is our last makeup product and it's actually a little bit of double trouble so this is the basic beauty latte and cocoa lip liner duo and i really like this because two pencils come in here which is very unique i've never really seen anyone that sells like a double pencil again this is the basic beauty gel lip liner duo it retails for 24 dollars, which is a little pricey but i feel like for lip liners you can't go wrong um you don't use a lot of lip liner and i have tons of lip liners i actually got a pack from a brand called italia deluxe makeup and i got a whole set of 12 for i believe it was like 10 bucks so that's about a dollar and change a piece that's not bad um, and I still have every single last one of them. None of them are even halfway used. So I think for the price, it is a little bit pricey. But if you like more high-end uh, lip liners and makeup products, then this is definitely something you should look into. We have gotten Basic Beauty before in our BoxyCharm. We got a eyeshadow primer, I believe it was. A, I don't know if it was last month, but it was a few months ago. And I didn't completely love that stuff i know i love a lot lip liner especially if it's pigmented so we're gonna see how this goes but the eyeshadow primer just wasn't too much for me it was way too tacky for me it would actually make my eyeshadow look a little bit patchy we've only used it once i am planning on using it a couple more times to really get the effect and really see how to use it but this says these gel lip liners are creamy long lasting and hydrating they smoothly glide onto the lips and blend with little to no effort. This is actually a new launch from Shop Basic Beauty, which is really cool. I love a new launch. I love when new brands come to Boxy. I do have to say one thing. I am not a huge fan of plastic pencils. Um, and I did actually realize when I swatched these the first time, the plastic kind of smells funky. And I honestly can't tell if it's the plastic or the pencil, but regardless, you're gonna smell it because it's so close onto the pencil that there's no way you're gonna miss it. So just keep that in mind. And note that these, again, are not the best to sharpen. If you are gonna sharpen these, I highly, highly, highly recommend the e.l.f. Cosmetics Duo Sharpener. That sharpener is like $3 on Amazon and it will sharpen the heck out of these with no problems. Like you won't get any breakage. It'll come out nice and smooth and just how it needs to be. It does have a plastic case to cover your, uh, what do you call that? Pencil shavings, there we go, shavings. So this is in the shade Cocoa and Latte. The darker one is Cocoa. The more reddish one is Latte. So this kind of reddish brick color, that's the shade Latte. And then Coco is this one right here. So I'm gonna use the Coco shade lip liner again for Basic Beauty and the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Lipstick in shade Silky Sienna. This does glide on very smoothly. Super pigmented, as we could see. So this is how we're looking. That is pretty much it for the makeup portion of this box. So let me know in the comments if you guys liked this look. I'm obsessed with this highlighter, like, automatically favorite thing out this box i thought it would be the eyeshadow palette because i have a ton of palettes but i'm always obsessed with palettes when i get them um, especially if they're good ones but this highlighter is just mwah, obsessed so now the last product in this box our fifth and final product which is skincare related this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. This retails for $42 and it says reignite the sparkle in your eyes with a gentle but powerful eye cream formulated with avocado, 
encapsulated retinol, coffee berry, and niacinamide. Long-lasting actives released to help moisturize, brighten, fight fine lines, and deep puff. This is by Glow Recipe, and I have a Glow Recipe product. Actually, I have the niacinamide serum that I have yet to use. Um, I was actually really excited for this, but I unfortunately cannot use it because if you guys don't already know, I am pregnant and I cannot use retinol. You cannot use retinol when pregnant. So I will be giving this away in one of my giveaways. We are at 950 followers on Instagram. We gotta get up to a thousand and I will be hosting a mega three piece giveaway um, with over 10 items in each box. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned and go follow me over there. Um, but this will be in one of the boxes. I'm gonna throw this in for you guys. Um, this is how it looks. It is absolutely stunning. I love the colorfulness of it. Look at this little, look at this, look at this. It is so freaking adorable. This is why I'm so upset I can't use retinol because this little baby right here, this is so freaking cute. Look at this glass, gorgeous glass, green, translucent, gorgeous bottle. Like it is so pretty. It's so cute and small. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to share it with you guys though. Um, we'll probably get one again in the future or if I can afford one, then I will. So. But for now, with that being said, the value of this month's box is $155, which is usually what it's around when I was buying my boxes. So you guys should receive one of these products in your boxes. And if you did, please let me know which one and which one did you love. Again, my favorite would have to be the Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter because this is just it is so freaking pretty it's just a stunning highlighter and it's a vibe it's a complete vibe i think the dust till dawn theme went beautifully with this box and it was absolutely amazing my thoughts pretty much i love everything in this box there's not one downfall i can say about any of these products the eyeshadow was gorgeous it's great as a valentine's day palette or a date night palette it has like some very beautiful colors you can create some sexy looks with i'm in love with it the lip liners were gorgeous super pigmented i love how fat the tips are and how pointy it is and again although i don't really like plastic liners i do have a sharpener now that won't break my pencils or break the sharpener so again keep that in mind elf cosmetics duo sharpener on amazon for three dollars uh, but the basic beauty liners were amazing and I love that there's two so if you want you can even create like an ombre effect You guys already know my thoughts on the highlighter I'm not gonna say it again and bombard you and then we have the Queen Studio by Queen Herbie herself Bow down brow gel. I am obsessed with brow gels. I really love this one and it's very lightweight Like I said like I really did not think it did anything until I put that pomade down and boy my brows did not move with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked the look i created today if you did let me know in the comments below if you're again not part of my beauty youtube family then please join the family and get in on the beauty fun subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos next week i'll actually be having my last two ruby kisses cosmetics unboxings and it's sad to see that we're not part of their PR list, but there is a reason for that. So if you want to find out that reason, then you must stay tuned. It's nothing bad, but we are going to be switching over our PR for We Essentials, which is what Ruby Kisses Cosmetics is under. They're all brother sister brands. So again, if you just want to hear more about it, stay tuned for that video next week. Show your support. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Share it with friends. And with that being said, I will see you guys back here next Thursday as always. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Later.